welcome, YouTubers. Hey, I I got rid of that Honda Foreman. I'm sorry, if I was going to do a ride on that and uh, get my opinion on what I think about the 2003 Honda Foreman Rubicon 500. Um, but uh, I got rid of it before I uh, uh, got that video. But I wanted to do this one, what I feel about, how I feel about the uh, Rubicon. Uh, it's the automatic setup, and it's, it's an automatic setup, but they don't use a clutch. It, uh, it's almost like a hydraulic, eh, not a hydraulic, let me take that back. It's just like an automatic transmission in a car. It uses uh, fluid that it pumps to make the power on it. So it's a little bit different. Uh, what's nice is you got two different modes. You got D1 mode, D2 mode. That's uh, like drive one, drive two. That is, um, let me see, that's uh, That is like drive one and drive two on your car. So you got a low and a high almost, something like that. Well, then they got a one selector where you can select the different, like almost like changing gears. Uh, it's another select, E, S, T, I can't remember what it was exactly. So you could keep it in one gear if you wanted to. So that's kind of useful sometimes, uh, using that. Uh, but uh, I, I like the, the positive pull of it. Uh, there's no belt slipping going on. It's dead on, ready to go. Uh, so I kind of like it, uh, even over the clutch, the, the belt system. About the Honda Foreman, it runs, it steers great. It just you don't on the 2003. You can't select four wheel or two wheel, and I don't really care for that much because I like to go back and forth. A lot of other people do too. You can't buy a $200 uh, disconnect to put on the front that will give you two wheel or four wheel. You can select, but who would want that if you want to put out the 200 bucks for it? Now, another thing about the Honda Foreman, it's a give or take. Depends on what you're going to be doing with it. Uh, it has a solid axle in the back, so it kind of your good uh, the ability back and forth, so to speak, on rough terrain. It might be a little more tippy. Uh, but when it comes to pull on a trailer, you, you can't beat the solid axle and durability. You don't have no boots to get messed up. Uh, CV joints to kind of kill, rob a little power. So the solid axle is pretty good on that and pulling trailers because then your the weights are on the tires and not on the suspension, which can weigh you way down and, and tear up other stuff. Uh, but they have plenty of power. It uh, runs smooth, good positive. You don't have to shift the gears. So it's a really a nice system, and this one here had a lot of hours, a lot of miles on it. It was still in good shape, still ran good, positive. Uh, the only thing about the Honda Foreman that gets on my nerves, and maybe it's not the newer ones, but the older ones, they use drum brakes, and that is irritating because they're junk. Not necessarily junk, but they're in superior to a disc brake. And they're prone to all kinds of problems. Freezing up, like the one I had there. Uh, the one cylinder, when the two front cylinders, now it has two cylinders on the brake on the front that push out. Uh, the front one, the back one was seized, wouldn't move. The front one, it was starting to get seized and I had to break it loose. Never could get the back one to move, but the brakes still worked. Not like they should, and they're probably gonna wear out on evil. But they worked. I don't care for that brake system, the old uh, shoe brake, drum brake system. They use it in the back too. I had an 08 Honda Foreman uh, that I could not get those back brakes to work worth nothing, to stop anything. I don't know what it is about them. I got brand new brakes, I sanded them, I worked on it, I don't know, I just don't like this brakes. I mean, <laughs> drum brakes on four wheelers. It just don't seem to work always have problems with them. These did work in the back fine. The front ones had the issues and it's a known thing for them. 
Uh, but for the, the miles and hours that was on this machine, somebody must have took halfway care of it uh, because it ran good, no smoke. And it's nice how Honda puts that engine sideways. Now, the benefit I see about that is it gives it a little more torque because the motor, you're going to be spinning those axles uh, the same way the motor is spinning. And, and that lends to more power from the motor to the wheel. Where when you got it sideways, you got a, a secondary gear to kind of rob some power. Um, and then you got the where it hits the axle, you're going to rob some power. So Honda kind of jumped on that and stayed with it. You see most of their engines are set sideways. They're going you know, this way instead of this way. So my overall with the Honda Foreman, it depends on what you're going to do and if you're going to be working with it, I think it's a pretty good machine. Uh, a lot of people, that's why they generally go with the gear ones. They want that positive gear. And Honda has that a lot in five speeds. But this Rubicon is my first experience with the Rubicon that automatic setup and I liked it. I thought it was pretty good. A little bit different than even the belt. Uh, so that's just my take on it. What I think it might not mean much, might not mean nothing at all, but I just wanted to put it out there so if anybody's looking to buy one, it might help them give them an idea about what they're gonna do with it. And uh and this nice to have another opinion about it. You can make a good decision. Well I wanna thank everybody for watching. Uh, everybody subscribing and pushing the, the bell to when I get these different videos and bring them up. And I got some more things in the work coming up. So uh, stay tuned. Everybody, take care.